Whether in person or online, students still have the opportunity to lead and serve as clubs and organizations go virtual. The sponsor is okay with meeting face to face and making sure that they're ensuring um, social distancing the entire time in a safe environment where kids can be spread out. Everyone has masks on and we can clean um, those particular areas. They're allowed to meet face to face. Um, after the club approval process has occurred, anyone can have Zoom meetings as long as their sponsor is present during those meetings. Some clubs have restrictions due to limited membership and or how they meet. The student council class does have a limit. The student council club does not. So they're kind of, they're a little bit different. So on Zoom, you can only have a certain amount of people. Say 180 people join, but 160 people are active. Some clubs and organizations meet face to face, virtually, or even both ways at the same time. 21 of them are virtual, and then five of them are in person. And so we meet simultaneously. I have students in my classroom, and then I have the Zoom projected. It's one of those classes that's like a, a mix of virtual and face-to-face. -face. Clubs and organizations have been forced to change the way they operate. It's definitely made my job harder because student council is a very collaborative kind of effort. And now that we're split virtually and in person, communication is a lot more difficult. But at the same time, being able to like easily talk to each other through Zoom and have meetings that are more accessible to everyone and keep track of all notes and minutes virtually, it's also made it a bit easier. The pandemic has definitely made it a lot harder for many clubs, such as DECA, just because all the in-person events and competitions that we would normally do are going to have to be seen in a different way. So I want to say 55% of our kids are all virtual, right? So a huge chunk of our kids that I can't actually physically see. We have tried to be very, very conscientious about the application process. So that's re them requiring to have met with me at some point to verbally talk about their club. And I can either see them via Zoom or we have some kids that do come into my office and have those conversations. They found ways to make it work. We've had to learn to adapt all of our projects. For instance, we're not having a homecoming anymore, but we're still Still going to be having a court which we have all moved virtually and we're also creating more virtual service project ideas and different activities that are virtual for students to participate in for our competitions even that's changing for their role plays they're going to have to record themselves and upload it into the database so the judges can judge from there when joining a club or organization be sure to stay safe and have fun i'm leah williams for vanguard tv